Hello, fellow Rams. You're watching Ram Life Entertainment. We're enriching the Fort Collins and Ram experience one show at a time. I'm your host, Gabe Pokras, and I feel like going a little casual today since it's so cold out. We have a great show for you tonight, including a food battle later on in the show. But first, we have another great around the fort this week. If you're feeling nostalgic and looking for some classic arcade games, your search ends here. Pinball Jones in Old Town is the perfect place for you. And it is our around the fort location this week. I went there earlier today. Hey guys, and on this week's Around the Fort, we spotlight Pinball Jones. It's in the depths of Fort Collins, Old Town, right by Lucky Joe's. It looks pretty awesome, and it's underground, which I really like. So let's go check it out. Pinball Jones started as a small 600 square foot joint with only 10 pinball machines. Now, the location has since been renovated, expanding next door, and has a functioning bar. I'm the owner of Pinball Jones, and um, yeah, for a while, the single employee, the space was a much smaller space. It was only like 600 square feet. My shop was kind of where the bar is now, and um, no beer, you know, I'd have soda and popcorn if you were lucky. <laughs> but the machines were really kind of a, a big hit. With six beers, a cider, and a sour tap, Pinball Jones establishes itself as not only a prominent arcade, but also a fun drinking environment. We have lots of uh, people that community support, and we also have great employees that you know, we couldn't do it without them. They love the place and they bring their friends and their friends tell their friends. And yeah, we still have new, new customers all the time. Though some may believe arcades are a dying breed, Kim and her employees are thriving with the support of the Fort Collins community. Be sure to check out Pinball Jones, because even when there is a game over, you still feel like a winner. I know you guys saw that classic skee-ball 100 point shot. That was awesome. All right, but definitely check that place out for some great time playing classic pinball games. Most importantly, don't forget to bring change when you play. Check your couch. You may have some quarters down there. I know I do. All right, it's time for this week's entertainment news. All right, one of my biggest dreams is to be a contestant on The Price is Right. Winning a prize on that show takes skill and a little bit of luck but a woman got some extra help from one of the models when she gave the answer away to win a car. Take a look. Oh! I won it! <laughs> hey, congratulations, but we'll just give you a car. Way to go. <laughs> I feel so bad for her, but when I'm a contestant on The Price is Right, I want that model to be helping me out. Hopefully she'll mess up again so I can win a car, and I hope it's a smart car. All right, the fifth season of The Walking Dead ended on March 29th, so fans may be experiencing Walker withdrawals. Well, if you're not zombie fans, you won't have to wait until October to get your zombie fix now. Fear the Walking Dead, the new companion series of The Walking Dead will premiere this summer. Not a lot is known about the new series, but the show will take place in the Los Angeles area and other parts of the West Coast. The show will reportedly fill in some gaps on the origins of the zombie virus. You won't want to miss the new show. There's nothing wrong with having a barbecue with friends on a hot summer day while watching zombies eat human flesh. All right, guys, coming up after the break, more entertainment news, including a look uh, at the movie everyone will be watching this weekend, plus a life-size replica of a celebrity made entirely of chocolate. We'll see who the likeness made into the giant edible treat is. Don't go away.
Welcome back to the show, Rams. The highly anticipated Fast and Furious 7 will be, will be released in theaters on Friday, April 3rd. I am so pumped for this film. It looks like they are taking the franchise to the next level. Let's take a look at the trailer to get you all pumped up, too. Mercenaries after us with enough weapons to wipe out small countries. This right here takes crazy to a whole nother level. Yeah, that takes crazy to a whole nother level. With an 88% rating on Rotten Tomato Tomatoes, Fast and the Furious 7 is rated fresh. No doubt this movie is going to be a blast. I'm thinking about going to a Thursday screening of the film, so I hope to see lots of my fellow Rams filling in those theater seats. Now from movies to television. UK TV has turned Britain's favorite television actor into a life-size chocolate sculpture, and it, it's amazing. The chocolate sculpture of Benedict Cumberbatch was created to promote the new launch of a new drama channel on UK TV. Cumberbatch was recently named the winner of an online poll for Tastiest Man in Television Drama. The sculpture is a trending topic on Twitter, prompting the use of the hashtag CocoBatch. It took more than 250 hours plus 500 Belgium chocolate bars to create the masterpiece. It will be on display Friday in Stratford, London. That chocolate sculpture would have melted in yesterday's nice weather, but as everyone has noticed, Colorado weather can change in an instant. For this week's Kelsey's Corner, entertainment reporter Kelsey Peterson went out to the plaza earlier this week to talk, about, to, talk to students about Colorado's unpredictable weather. Hi, and welcome to Kelsey's Corner. Let me tell you how to. Hey. Today on our episode, we have CTV meteorologist Austin Harley with us. So Austin's going to help me tell you how to predict Colorado weather. You know, that's a pretty, that's a pretty daring task. It is quite the task for a lot of people. In Colorado, the weather is pretty much some of the most complicated to predict in the entire nation. It's so like bipolar. <laughs> it switches all the time. So, Because you'll like look outside and it'll be like cloudy, but you walk out and it'll be warm. How, how do they know what to wear in the mornings? You know what I always am a big advocate against is uh, using your phone uh, app for predicting the weather. Just the weather app on my phone. <laughs> does it usually work for you? Yeah. It does? Yeah. So you haven't found yourself like putting on shorts and then freezing all day? No, not yet. Because you never know, right? A lot of times there's those days where you're like, phone is like sunny today. And you're like, oh, wonderful. And it's going to be like 80, but that might be in the morning. And then there's a cold front and it snows in the afternoon. And you're like, ah. Oh. I wake up and I look on Snapchat and everybody's just like, oh, it's a great day. And then I do that. Snapchat, really? Yeah. yeah. Really? <laughs> so people are like already awake by the time you get up. Oh, yeah. I don't start to class till one, so. Um, and then you're definitely going to get the people that are like, I just like look out the window. And it was like sunny, so I wore shorts. I usually go by whatever the morning is like and then just hopefully it doesn't get too hot or too cold after that, so. You just go by the mornings? Yeah, mostly. Did you know that the Colorado weather changes? Like from on an hourly basis? Yeah, I'm pretty tolerant, so yeah. <laughs> so basically you're saying that everyone should just learn to be tolerant like you? Um, maybe. <laughs> you could probably recall those days from the winter where you're like, oh man, it's so sunny. And you walk outside and it's negative five. And you're like, oh, this was a bad choice. <laughs> <laughs> Always have a jacket. First rule of living in Colorado. <laughs> How do you prepare for the days that it's like starts out nice and then it gets really cold? That's that's like my that's like my nightmare. I I, I, I <laughs> I always get it wrong. I look a lot into like computer models, uh, so I pay a subscription for $200 a year to uh, be able to look at these computer models. A lot of times what meteorologists do today is get really good at like predicting the models, knowing where they like kind of go astray, and then being able to have that judgment where you can put the two together and kind of come out with a good forecast. So for those of you who are as confused by the Colorado weather as I am, and I've lived here my whole life, then check out Austin Harley's blog. Every weekday morning on thecollegian.com, I'm always here for you. And uh. tune in next time for Kelsey's Corner. I personally was wearing booty shorts and a bro tank on Wednesday because the weather was so nice. Hey, ladies. And today, I had to bring my big jacket to school, and that's no fun. Hi right, now, folks. It's time to get serious. As you all know, the ASCSU elections are in full swing right now. I think it's time CSU votes for the candidate it deserves. America. America. This nation will rise up. America. 
If you vote for me for Senate, I promise that every student will get skydiving lessons from Tony Frank himself. You know what we really need? A petting zoo. I'll put a petting zoo right in the middle of the quad. My spirit animal is a bald eagle. Every Thursday at 7, we will stop everything we're doing at 4 p.m. and have a 15-minute dance party. You know what? Free meal swipes for everyone! All right, guys, get, get it trending on Twitter. Hashtag Gabe for Senate. All right, we're going to take a quick break, but coming up, we'll have a sandwich battle to end all sandwich battles. Fast Five Sports uh, reporters Olivia Landis and Brett Kennedy will join us live in the studio to help out. We'll be right back. Today, we will review one of the most convenient services the Lori Student Center has to offer, shopping. The CSU Bookstore boasts an unparalleled selection of CSU apparel and gifts. It also supplies students with textbooks as well as a number of office and school supplies for your every need. Another LSC shopping option lies in the Transit Center area. Snack food, beverages, personal care items, and school supplies. Cam's Lobby Shop is your go-to stop and shop. Welcome back, Rams. If you did not know, April 2nd is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Sandwich Day. What better way to celebrate than an epic sandwich battle? I've asked CTV reporters Brett uh, Kennedy and Olivia Landis to come face each other in the TV studio. All right, introduce your guy, yourselves, guys. All right, I'm Brett Kennedy, and I make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches in my sleep, so... Ooh. And I'm Olivia Landis, and he's probably going to lose really badly. Ooh, I, I, can't, I feel like you can't talk trash if he's probably going to lose really badly. <laughs> I mean, I was just trying to be a little bit nice. I mean, I could say he's really going to lose badly. Oh, okay. But. Oh, okay. Ouch. All right, well, let's get this Ouch. started. Uh, we have a lot of ingredients for you guys. Um, you guys have to create the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich in less than 60 seconds. I will try both sandwiches and decide who's the winner. All right, let's get it started and go. Going down. This down, is gonna down. be the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, so ever had. she's starting with peanut butter, and he's starting with jelly. Peanut butter jelly with the baked ball back. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly with the baked ball back. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Now, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Oh. All right, 10 seconds. Dun, 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 dun. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. All right, put him down, put him down. All right, I'm going to try Olivia's first. Let's see how this tastes. <laughs> All right. That's really good. Heaven in your mouth. It's got some crunch to it. That's really good. It's Captain Crunch. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Secret ingredient. All right, time for Brett's. <laughs> That's really good also. <laughs> he laughed. That's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to give this to Olivia. Oh, well boom. done. Well done. Yes. All right, that's all the time we have for you the show tonight. Thanks for watching Ram. Don't forget to follow Ram Life Entertainment at Twitter, at Ram Life underscore ENT. Have a great weekend, Rams. Stay safe on the roads and stay tuned for the Live Fast Five with these two kids.